<laughs> hey, I was deported with a guy. He was like 20, 21, I don't know. And he asked me, hey, is it hard to learn Spanish? I said, what do you mean? You don't speak Spanish? He goes, no. Somebody, you better learn Spanish quick. <laughs> yeah, he was being deported. Did not speak Spanish at all. How's he gonna survive? I mean, like they say, repatriate? How are they gonna repatriate you to some country that you've never even lived in? How does that work? The storm making landfall overnight as a Category 4 down in Texas and Louisiana. The storm exploding transformers leaving 400,000 people without electricity at this hour. Meanwhile, Charles Watson is live on the ground in Port Arthur, Texas, which has been to the west uh -huh. of the center of the storm. Charles and Sons. Back goes Borges near the wall. It's out of here as Drupal Cabrera wins it for New York. A three-run walk-off home run. He went to the apex of the Do I feel at home? No. Doesn't it look like if I've never even unpacked? I'm not comfortable here. Mentally, I'm not here. Physically, I'm not there. I'm in limbo. I'm in, I'm in no man's land. I'm on the line. I'm literally on the line. My name is Richard Avila. I'm a military veteran. Raised in East Los Angeles, California. Lived in the United States all my life. Uh, finally deported. I lost my life. I lost my job. I lost my car. I lost my girl. I lost my family. I mean, you know, that's a lot of stuff to carry. The longer I live here in Tijuana, it's just unhealthy. Thank you for calling Liberty Cash Lenders. My name is Richard. May I have your social security number to better assist you, please? Yes, Richard, 461-5729. Thank you. So, Lori, um, you might qualify for $6,000 a, a loan. Okay. Would that be today? Are, are you saying that you need to be funded by today? Yes, that's what I'm saying. I'm working here in Tijuana in the same field that most of the deportees. We receive calls from the United States. I actually work for a call center that does loans. Okay, once you're approved, we will decide how much you're eligible for. Thank you so much, Richard. These companies want English speakers, and I need a job. Thank you for calling Liberty Cash Lenders. My name is Richard. It's ironic because the United States deports us to Mexico and then use our skills for a lot less money. I didn't say bye to her. I don't know when the next time that I'm going to see her. As this U.S. Army officer fights for his country, his mother gets kicked out of it. She was deported this morning after several attempts to overturn that decision. By the time they actually told us that she was still denied, she was already in Tijuana. Her son calls me. Her immigration meeting only lasted about 30 minutes. Then she was gone. She's now in Mexico. This is video of her. Es 
posaron con las manos hacia atrás y me subieron a un carro. Y me decía, no pregunte, no haga preguntas. En menos de 30 minutos ya me habían sacado para Tijuana. Yo viví 31 años en Estados Unidos. Todo lo que había construido, todo lo que había tenido, se fue de un día para otro. I miss you. One day, no, two days. Do you come and see? Ya sé porque me llevabas los niños también. Yara, déjalo en paz. ¿Estás bien? Sí. Pues trato de. Ya, que, ya me quiero regresar, pero. Pues no sé hasta cuándo. Pero no te desesperes, porque te vas a hacer llorar. Ok. No te desesperes, ¿ok? Ya tengo ganas de verlos también. Yo tengo ganas de verlos. No llores, mamá. No llores, por favor. Ok. Oh, my baby. Do you come and see me? I can't. Really? Did you love me? I can't. Uh, yes, but I can't go, go with you. Mexico is too far. En Estados Unidos tenía mi negocio, trabajaba. Trabajé mucho para que mis hijos lograran sacar su universidad. Y de un de repente te encuentras en otro lugar, sola. El delito mío es haber entrado indocumentada. Nunca tuve problemas con la policía ni nada. Todo fue trabajar, trabajar, trabajar. Yo pienso que sí voy a regresar. Sé que la situación ahorita se puede ver irreversible pero también sé que un milagro lo puede cambiar. We're going to take a seat right here on the first desk. Okay. It's over here? Yes, please. Go ahead and take a seat. How are you doing today? I'm fine, very well. Excellent. So, I'm doing great, thank you. Um, this is your first time applying with us, correct? Yes. Okay. How long have you been in Tijuana for? 40 days. Um, do you know anything that has to do with call centers? Have you ever been familiarized with what we do in call centers? No. Okay, so what type of job did you do in the United States? Time for the job? Mm-hmm. Um, I have a, my property business mm -hmm. for 25 years. Okay. okay. Do you have any questions on how call centers worked? No. Okay. How long were you living in the United States for? Uh, um, like 20, no, 34 years. 34 years? Yes, I was like since three years old. Yeah, like 34 years. Okay. Let's go ahead and tell me a little bit about your work experience. Well, I've always worked in a restaurant, so I really don't have any like experience like towards like kind call of centers. Call centers. But okay. What brings you to a call center? 
the, I got, I got in, I lost my papers, so they deported me. How long were you residing in the United States for? 36 years. Okay, 36 years. And how long have you been in Tijuana for? A week and three days. I started laughing. I was like, oh, I got papers. You got the wrong person. Mm -hmm. They came out with my picture. This is you, isn't it? You're getting deported. Are you married? Do you have any kids? Yeah, I'm married. Okay. I've got three, three kids, three boys, and a daughter. Mm -hmm. But I got a two grand, one grandkid and a grandkid coming in the way. Okay. So, yeah. Are they all in the United States? Yeah, everybody's in the United States. Today in the morning that I came in the bus, I was nervous. Of I was, course, you don't it know. It was cold, but I was sweating. I was like, <laughs> man, where am I going to go? Yo no voy a decir que soy una blanca bonita, ¿por qué no? Yo he hecho mis cosas, he hecho cosas malas, he vendido droga. Pero yo era de ahí. Desde los tres años allá, para mí, Estados Unidos era mi país. Like all call centers are going to ask you, where are you located? But you're never going to say, I'm here in Tijuana in front of the Guava State, right? <laughs> it happened, guys. It happened before. Trust me. There's a lot of names in the website. Wow. Yes. OK, don't worry. We have that covered. I'm going to teach you the flowers knowledge. That's what I need to learn. We are proud to offer an online selection of daisy bouquets. Our finest Gerber daisies arrive in an assortment of vibrant hues. Have you noticed? Every time we try to convince a customer, we listen to adjectives. Our Gerber daisy bouquet and a spirited ray of sunshine to make this day that your special recipient will never forget. We use the customer's emotions to convince them. Not always is going to work, guys. But the thing, upselling is not an option. It's an instruction. I got here at 6. It was still dark. Nobody here. Like, OK, I'm Am on time. Am I in the right place? No, yeah. like, at least I'm not going to get lost. Because <laughs> that's what I was, right I was afraid. I was in the bus. I was like asking everybody, excuse me, where's the university? Hey. Adentro, tengo ganas de gritar, llorar. Ganas de sacar ese coraje que tengo. Siempre sonreír, aunque por dentro te estés muriendo. Ser un payaso. Lo único que, pues sí, me ha visto en todo es. Mi esposa Esmeralda es la que sí me ha visto en todo, lo bueno, lo malo. ¿Qué vas a hacer ahora? We're just going to have like a little gathering here at the house. Te portas bien y te diviertes, bebé. I always do. Ay, no. Thank you. Pero no sabes qué diera por poder mirarte. Ay, no, bebé. Como te he dicho, you're strong, I'm strong. If you're not strong, I won't be strong. You're my backbone. I know. I know, pero no cerramos tampoco. Este muro, esa línea, me impide abrazar a mi esposa. Puta línea. Hello. Yes, ma'am. My name is Richard Dean. I'm calling from Liberty Cash Lenders. We're only interested in the last 30 days of your um, transactions. Are you driving? No, that's my fan. Not, you know, poor man's air conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put you on a brief hold. Sean uh, Rosier? Yes. Oh, you did good. 
Uh, yeah, I get a lot of a lot of uh, I get a lot of practice, right? With all I'm, with all the calls I'm sure I get. You do. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Sean, can you verify your birthday for me, please? I talk with guys that are like 80 years old, some kids that are like 21 years old, some nice sounding ladies that are you know <laughs> you know. Your bank has been verified. Great, we did it, Chandra. Yippee! <laughs> Uh, it's kind of like an escape. I electrically sign the loan document. I'm so sorry about this. Richard. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. That's my job. <laughs> Before the second cup of coffee, I feel the same way. <laughs> it really takes me away from where I'm at. But after all that, after work, TV. Like I said, I feel like I'm in a cage. I arrived in the United States when I was one year old. I was happy, a normal childhood. And uh, my issues started in the military and in Vietnam. When uh, my cousin died, uh, I was probably 15, maybe 16 and he was killed in Vietnam, right? So I had already, I was already thinking that as soon as I'm old enough, I'm gonna join the military, go to Vietnam, and kill a lot of Vietnamese. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, right? Jane, there really is just one big story. America's stepdaddy is angry. Me, myself, I was 17 when I enlisted. My mom started crying and everything. Took a couple of pictures of my dad. My dad was all proud. After that, uh, Pelosi and Chuck Schumer headed over to the White House for a pre-scheduled meeting. The first year uh, I was 100% uh, committed to uh, the uniform, the flag, and our mission. I'm but now, once we good. understood that it was a totally useless war, we started wearing their hair long. You can't wear you can't wear a mustache longer than here, and people were wearing them down to here. You know, it was just like don't give a fuck anymore. And that's when I first tasted the heroin. It was the beginning of the end of my normal life.
Después de tres meses en Tijuana, por primera vez vinieron a visitarme mis hijas. Porque tú vas derecho, tú vas derecho. Yo no me quiero otra vez. Carla, no vas a poder, el tráiler no te va a dejar, tienes que moverte, muévete, muévete, para allá, para allá. Dale, Carla. Dale. ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué? Interesting. Uh, it's kind of like what I expected to see in Brazilian favelas, except less saturated. Mm -hmm. Es esa, uh -huh. Anoche no pude dormir de la calor. Y luego, mira, pozos por todos lados tiene. Sí. Venga, les voy a enseñar el baño. Mira. Aquí está el bañito. Pero como no hay agua, hay que echar agua de aquí. Um, sacamos agua de aquí así. Imagínate vivir aquí. Sí, eso es lo que, eso sí extraño. La comida que tú haces. Pues sí. Porque ya, ya me cansé de hacer los puros platillitos que yo sé hacer, porque no sé hacer más. <risa> ya <risa> sé. Just go on YouTube and learn a new recipe. <risa> ¿Qué te dicen los chiquillos de mí? ¿O qué les dices tú de mí? Yo les digo que abuelita está en otro país y que no puede regresar. Ellos están chiquitos, no entienden. Y siento como que Elías ya no te va a conocer. Imagínate, van a crecer y no los voy a ver. O sea... What are we doing that's wrong? What are we doing that's wrong? Toda nuestra vida hemos querido así dos ser parte de los Estados Unidos y sentimos como que ahora nos dan la espalda después de tantos años de, de trabajo, de, de sacrificar, de mandar a nuestros hermanos a la militar y todo eso. Lo que pasa, Carla, es que Estados Unidos es un país que nos abrió las puertas, yo lo digo por mí, porque tuve oportunidad de tener mi negocio, de tener casa, de, de darles a ustedes un nivel de educación diferente a un nivel de educación más alto. Pero los que no son criminales, como tú, los saquen del país. Ya sé. Y eso es una injusticia. Entonces, ¿qué has estado haciendo? donde me hicieron una entrevista en inglés. Oh, my God. ¿Cómo fue? Pues es un call center donde agarran llamadas que vienen de, de Estados Unidos, de compañías de Estados Unidos. Pero no, el sueldo es muy poquito. Y luego, haz de cuenta que voy a estar atendiendo compañías de Estados Unidos sin yo estar en Estados Unidos. Y como que es mucho, uh -huh. se me hace como, como ¿Una muy triste, tristeza y melancolía. Exactamente. Thank you for calling. King Flowers, this is Sergio. How may I help you? Uh, you're calling the main shop, sir. Uh, and what's her, the main? 
It's uh, 300 corporate drive, sir. May I have her phone number, please? Ms. Lucia's, uh, Ms. Mary's uh, phone number in case my driver needs to... Excuse me. Where am I from? We're located at 300 corporate... We're located at 300 corporate drive, sir, in Mawa, New Jersey. But delivery is never an issue with us. We have 20,000 affiliated floor shops to, uh, that work with us, sir. So may I have her phone number? Y ya está empezando a hacer fresco, dijera la Cici. Aquí me la paso. Me siento allá en la sillita y me pongo a ver para allá. ¿Qué hay allá? Pues allá, para allá de San Diego. ¿O de qué? De... Después de esa... Ahorita no se ve porque, porque está lleno de como de humo. Pues ya. Vámonos yendo. <risa> se van mis chiquitas. Ya está ahí la línea. Ya de ahí ya no voy a poder, ya no voy a poder pasar yo. Ya sé. No, no voy a ver. ¿Qué? Por favor, cuídate. Sí. Y a ver si la próxima vez puedes traer a los niños también. No, yo. No, yo. No, yo las yo voy a ir. What would you want the car to say, sir? Happy Valentine's, my little cebolla, cebolla, cebolla. With double L, huh? Yes, 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 little cebolla. Anything else? Oh, okay, perfect. Let me just get. Can wait. To see you tonight. Can't wait to see you tonight. Okay, perfect. Yes. You could put rest in peace, uh, beloved aunt, uncle. I mean, uh, it's a lady. I'm sorry. I do apologize about that. Um, 
We have balloons. We have balloons for birthday. We have teddy bears. Um, Do you have a pen and paper? She can write down the order number. One more sale. So, es la tu primera llamada, huh? All right, let's go for one more. We're going to focus on AOB. Your AOB is doing great. Okay. Vamos a tratar de mantenerlo. Yo sé que te estoy pidiendo mucho. I know. Because you're new. Sí, sí. But I know you can do it. Este, hablamos de ley, ¿no? Que tenía ahí por ahí. ¿Eso ley? Sí. Del día que falté, el siguiente día llegué tarde. Me falló el carro. ¿Para que te lo quite acá? Sí, me falló el carro. ¿A qué puedo hacer? Ah, gracias, chaval. Six, seven. Parita, Caesar. Caesar, give me AOB, my boy. Your conversion is healthy enough. Give me AOB. All right, let's focus on AOB. Luxury grade. Uh, what, are, what is the, uh, what, what are you trying to send? Oh, uh, flowers for whatever, whatever. Okay, we have uh, the Dreaming of Tuscany, this, this, and that. Okay, let's go with that one. I would recommend her luxury grade because we have more flowers, more bloom, yada, yada, yada. All right? All right, let's focus on AOB. Yes, that's correct, sir. Okay, I have a question, sir. Would you want to put a matching uh, ribbon on your arrangement today? What, what if it was for the, was it a lady calling you? Yeah, it was a lady. Okay, yeah. well, what if it was for the daughter? Uh, she doesn't want to spend money for the daughter? Yeah. <laughs> Remember. We gotta hit him with emotion, man. Emotion, make me cry. After my military service, for the next 30 years, I was in a fog. I was deep in my addiction. I was arrested for robbing a store to get money to buy drugs. You can argue anything you like as to why you deported me, but any way you look at it, you're deporting an American. You'd rather be in Mexico than in the United States? Like I said, if I could go back, I would just want to go back and visit a weekend, a week, and I would come back. But I, I don't want to live in the United States no more. You know, there's a word called the American dream. That's all it is, a dream. You can chase the Mexican dream here? Over here? I feel legal over here, you know? If you were legally able to live in the United States, yes. would you live in Mexico? Work and live in Mexico? No, you okay. wouldn't. There's no reason to think about it, Holmes. Of course no, you wouldn't. No, 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 dude, wait, wait. Of course you wouldn't. I'm thinking about it. Me, personally, right now, fuck the United States. I'm good right here. Yeah, yeah. Nice hot shower in a bathtub. <laughs> in a bathtub. A real bathtub. Not a shower, <laughs> a bathtub. Or at least an hour. <laughs> Imagine? Yeah. Damn. There's a lot of things you take for granted over there. Imagine, cross, and then have somebody just waiting for you. Porque there's a carretera right there. Yeah, there is. I've seen cars. Yeah, cars me too. Right here. But it's kind of. I'll bet you there's a point difficult. over there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's a point there over there. There has to be something over there or over there. Mm -hmm. There has, it has to be. Because it's not going to be that easy. Nah. Imagine if it was that easy. I'll be over there.
Ok, mi amor. Wow. Yeah. If I cross pick me up. Go back for how long? No, forever. That's forever. it. Yeah, they let her, they let we got papers. We got papers. We got our papers back. Yeah. We're free. Okay, listen. We are supposed to be able to agree to disagree because no, no, what no, you no, say no, is no, right. No, 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 I'm not saying I'm not Mexico's I'm not I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you yes. know, I'm not trying to, you know, tell you what to do. Okay. But I mean, would you really rather live in Mexico than the United States? And right now, at this point in time? But why? Yes. But why? I mean, you know, I mean, I, I'm just trying to understand why. All my nephews and nieces, from the very beginning, they would call me Uncle Richie. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what? Uncle Richie, <laughs> Richie, okay. Richie, Richie, Uncle Richie. Okay. And, uh, you know, I love that. They're just, they're just a, a line across the sand. They're just on the other side of the border. Okay. You know, but I can't be okay. with them. That's what really hurts me. Okay. I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Too much beer. <laughs> Aquí las horas se me hacen eternas. Una de las razones por la que decidimos poner cámaras adentro de la casa en San Diego es por mi mamá, para estarla cuidando cuando yo tenía que salir. Puedo verlos, puedo oírlos. Ellos a mí no. Los lazos familiares, eso es lo que se está perdiendo definitivamente. O ya se perdió. Aquí son los labios, carnal, de mi morra. Ah, vale. Ya los tengo, los, los, me los puse hace tres años, nada más que se hicieron fake. Pero ya te vas a quedar o te vas a regresar. ¿cómo? ¿Pienso regresarme, carnal? Ya, yeah, sí, sí, sí. Sí, pues allá tengo mis morros, mi esposa. Todo tengo allá. A ver, te voy a poner la cabeza más. Ahí estamos.
Mi esposa Esmeralda, ella es mi vida, es mi todo. Yo miro mi vejez con ella, miro mi muerte con ella. Ya me cansé de frijoles y arroz. Estoy en ver. Como que se me bajó la presión, yo creo. No, es este off today, babe. Okay. Yeah, it's off. Aquí no pertenezco, esto es, esto es un infierno. No miro morir aquí. No, hace mucho tiempo me dijo una persona, ¿Cuánto tiempo más te va a esperar tu esposa? ¿Tú crees que te aguanta hasta que regreses? Cuando me dijo así, me reí, pero por dentro me quedo la like, Honestamente, sé que me ama, pero iré a esperarme tanto. Yo siempre he tomado, pero ahorita que estoy aquí en México he tomado más. Mi esposo me dice, estás tomando de más. ¿Qué hago? Es un, un calmante. ¿Me entiendes? Me, me mareo y ya no siento la soledad tanto. Ya. Yeah. <coughs> Me olvido tantito. ¿Está bien? We are here today to honor those who have fallen and paid the ultimate sacrifice, including those who have died while an exile who served this great nation. Gerardo Garcia, U.S. Navy, presente. Present. Present. Francisco Rodarte, presente. Present. Present. Carlos Torres Cardenas, U.S. Army, presente. Present. Present. Jose Raul López, U.S. Army, present. 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 Manuel Castano, U.S. Army, present. Present. Order of Art. Gracias, Padre En el nombre de Jesús. En el nombre de Cristo Jesús, Señor. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, Padre. 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 Aquí nos habla de una entrada de dinero próximamente. ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué es lo que usted desea en estos momentos para usted poder recuperar eh, lo que viene siendo su familia? Regresar. 
quiere regresar. Sí. Aquí un ángel le dice que va a regresar, ¿ok? ¿Alguna pregunta? Lo que usted quiera preguntar. Todo va a estar bien con mi esposa, mi matrimonio. Ok. You cannot overthink stuff. If something negative is affecting your life, don't try to figure it out too much because it will take you to a bad place. I'm just losing time here. My last nephews, the last generation that I used to take care of or play with, they're already, uh, you know, 23 years old. So, you know, they even have kids, but their kids don't know me. They don't know me at all. So, yeah, you're disappearing, of course. And, uh, you know, and like I said, I'm not, I'm not vain in any way, but I used to love to hear The kids say, Uncle Richie, when I would come, when I would get there, right? They don't, I'll never. I, I'll probably never hear that again. with your bank and come back and do it again.
Hello. Hello, who's this? It's Chris. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How old are you now? I'm 21, finally. Damn. <laughs> well, when did you turn 21? Uh, in June. All right. Did you get, did you get, did you get blasted? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go buy beer for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, and, and uh, like I told her, Rainy, man, uh, I really appreciate you guys sending me that money, OK? Yeah. Take... Right, here, here's the Norris Hey, hey, stay cool, huh? Yeah, yeah, you too. All right. Talk to you guys soon. OK. All right, here's the